Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Jimmy the Mad Vapor here doing another review on the Billow by Epro. Been liking these Epros lately. A lot of, have a lot of Epro products. Uh, this one made real good quality, as you'll see in the breakdown and all. 22 millimeter tank holds about 5 mil of mil V juice, but the good thing about this has dual coils on it. So we're going to go ahead and break this down, take a look at her. Not going to do a build on it. I think we all know by now how to do a dual coil build and put it in a dripper. If you can put a dual coil in a dripper, you can put a dual coil in this. It's just the wicking gets a little tricky and I will be wicking it. Okay, well here's the billow broken down. I'm not going to do a build on it, but as you can see I've got two, I believe they're eight wrap, 28 gauge coils on there. Big features on this one is, as you see right here, the air channel is raised up off the build deck. Meaning your juice, unlike the orchid, is not going to just drip down and go down the hole. It does have a lip there. I must say that's probably at least two millimeter lip, maybe a little bit less. It's got the square design center post, so you get a hole for everything. No forcing two in there at the same time. Four massive juice channels. And I see we get a nice close up there. You can see that lip. You can see the juice channels. Four post design. The machining is very nice on this. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and put some wick in it. That's the main part here. You need to wick it right for it to perform. Get a piece out. Okay. Here we go. We're going to run it through one side, out the other. Snugly in there, not too tight, not too loose. The normal. Snip it off about parallel with the build deck, a little less maybe. About like that. Repeat on the other side. Now I'm just using 28 gauge in mine. You can you could definitely put 26. 24. I don't know about 22. I've never had much success with doing 22 in a tank. Just dries up that cotton too quick. Slip this off. Okay, now the important part. Let's get some juice. Juice up the cotton, so you got something to work with, and it shrinks down that cotton easier to work with there. Okay. Now see, behind the coil, behind the air channel there, there's a nice little gap there. What I want to do is just curl it back there and stuff it in. You don't want it to be over top of the air channel. Just stuffed it back in that groove. And you'll you'll know it when you're doing it. You'll feel it. will just go right back there, just like that. And what I like to do is right against the negative post. I like to push a needle or something up against that. I like to keep a little area there open. Lets the juice get up in there, and it keeps it from going across the build deck into the air channels. Once you get in those air holes, it'll start leaking even worse. There's one side. Same thing, stuff it towards the back. Make sure you do not 
get it in those juice channels because it'll clog it up and then you won't get your juice. Make sure your air there is clear, no cotton hanging over it. If it is, just push it back. It's going to expand when it dries out, but you do not want to over top those air ports. Okay, let's do the same on this one. We'll juice on the cotton. Yes, so it's flat. Tuck under towards the back. When you get the hang of it, you'll you'll wick it in no time flat. Got a little too much juice in there, just push it a little bit. Drain juice off there. It's easier to get your top chimney on. Alright, so once you're happy with her, once you're happy with the build, that's about what you want to look like. Get your chimney, and you want to slowly screw it on top of the cotton. Just get your threads nice and wet as you put it down. Keeps it from bunching your cotton, messing up your coils or anything like that. And slowly work it on. It's caught in the cotton, you'll feel it. Back it out a little bit. And show this, there it goes. Slowly down. Don't just crank it down real fast, it'll move your cotton around. It's nice and gentle. There, it's down. Torque it down a little bit. It's good to go. Alright, so we got our coal in there. We got our cotton. Put our tank on. Down the gasket. Now, normally I would fill it from the bottom, but since it's a part, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some juice in from the top. And some plume juice in here, some strawberry custard. Top cap on. This is the messiest part. It's going to leak when you first build it. Nothing you can do about that. And, uh, Avoid laying it down on its side and everything because it'll leak down too. Drip tip on. Now what I like to do is give it a little gentle blow down through there. To get all the juice out of the juice or the uh, air holes. So let me uh, let me blow a little bit through there. Not real hard. Just just gentle. Just enough to clear the holes out. Now she's clean, pretty much ready to go. Now normally if you're going to fill this, normally, you want to go ahead and fill it from the bottom. There's a screw hole, but you ain't going to unless you got a small juice bottle will go in there, and that small screw. Um, if you don't get a syringe like this one, drip it in there, go ahead and push it in there. Uh, another thing I want to show you on the bottom here is the dual air control valves. On the bottom I've got mine pretty much wide open. I was going to take them out completely and put some kind of tape across them or something, but I just left them in for now. Alright, well let me go ahead and put this on device and then we'll see how she Let's vapes. go over the cons on the device. Uh, the, one of the biggest cons I've got is the leaking. It does like to leak when you build it, after you first put the juice in it, and after you build it. It's good, the juice is going to come out those air holes. It's just the, the nature of this beast is going to leak sometimes. If you lay it down, it's going to leak. Not, you know, if I can do that for a couple minutes, seconds, and it, it's, you're fine. But if you lay it down, let it sit, you're going to come back to a puddle of juice. That I don't care how you wick it, it's going to leak like if you lay it down. If you wick it properly, sitting up, it's not going to leak there. It's, if you leave big 
channels of air in there, it's going to fill up with juice. It's going to run out the juice holes or air holes. Nothing you can do about that. That's a bit. That's a big con to me. Another con, I do not like the chimney. By now, we should all have two-piece chimneys. All these devices should be coming with two-piece chimneys. Let, let's see that cotton in there. Let's make sure we got it wicked properly. It's been a couple times where I've built it and it leaked. I had to take it apart just to wick it a little, you know, move the cotton around, put it back together, then it's fine. But if it had a two-piece chimney, I wouldn't have to do that. I would know it was good to go with. So that's another con to it. Another con, I don't know if it's really a con, but it goes through some juice. I mean, you see how much vapor you're producing. When you're producing that much vapor, you're going to go through some juice. So this tank will last you about, depending on how much you vape, an hour to two hours. You'll go through five mils of juice. She is a just a juice hog. She will suck through that juice. Not saying that is a con. To me, you know, I got my limo. I use on my normal day basis because that conserves my juice. But if I'm just sitting down throwing some clouds out, you know, I've got an inexpensive juice like plume juice. Get a lot for a good price. You know, I don't mind blowing those big clouds constantly and filling you know, this hard, thing dry. Get that little screw at the bottom. But you're not... Uh, you're going to need a little syringe to get in that little hole, and the, the, even a syringe doesn't like to go around the cha uh, the chimney, so it tends to leak when you do that. In my opinion, tank is great, just like it is. Yes, it does leak some, but it throws out some huge clouds, and it gives you a great flavor. Uh, I would would recommend this tank to anybody that uh, doesn't mind the leaking issues. If you if you like if you have an orchid, like the orchid or the Orchid 2.0 or whatever with the race piece. If you like an Orchid, you're going to love this tank. It's just the, the, the air holes are bigger. It holds more juice, and she's a, she's, she just throws out I want to give a shout-out to Kidney Punchers online store. That's where I've purchased this device for around $35, $32 to $35. Uh, very good bargain for this tank. So if you want to give it a shot, check their uh, website out, kidneypunchers.com. I'll throw a link down at the bottom. But she is a very good tank for throwing clouds and good vapor production. Just remember to have plenty of juice on hand. Well, this is Jimmy the Mad Vapor, and I'll see you next time.